sponsored by EA. With October 31st not too far off, I want to remind you that I have an EA creator code. If you're planning to pre-order Dragon Age The Veilguard or pick up any previous Dragon Age games through the EA app, remember to apply my code UrbanBohemian at checkout. I get a small commission from the purchase, which helps support the channel. Um, you log in and you have all your characters. Um, if you played, I will say, if you played City of Heroes, this will look very familiar because I do consider, I consider this and a few other games spiritual successors to City of Heroes. Uh, let me see, they gave us... A preview document um, and the setting so ship of heroes begins in the year 2487 again aboard the free human ship justice which is patrolling the outer edge of the earth federation the justice is a nation in space more than 20 miles long a civilian trading and manufacturing vessel moving from world to world and defending one section of the federation's borders aboard the ship humanity is continually developing new ways some people have embraced cybernetics as a means to become better versions of themselves some naturally develop superpowers during their lives. Others have mastered one of many kinds of magic. There are even more forms of power out there. Many alien species are peaceful, but a few are murderous threats that cannot be negotiated with or even communicated with. The Nogdalians are one such species, but there are others. So in the preview, there are five initial story arcs for characters to play. Um, each arc gives a different perspective of the backstory, personnel, and challenges of being a superhero aboard the Justice. In the preview, we're going to engage in one of these story arcs called Uncertain Loyalties. And let's see here. Depending, and you do get different responses depending on your actions. Uh, let's see here. There are power trainers after each level to activate your new powers and add augments they say if you don't level up or add augments you're not going to survive and the level of enemies will increase uh currently they enable players to raise or lower the standard difficulty of the mission okay <clears throat> um so what we should do is we should create a new character there we are hopefully you can see let me double check the window capture because you should be able to see my mouse so yeah hopefully it's capturing the cursor if not then you'll see it when i mouse over something um so the five archetypes that we've got uh the tank uh, the tank taking hits for the team, using melee powers, taunting enemies, uh, pr defensive primary and offensive secondary. The brawler. Um, brawlers wade into fights and deal large amounts of melee damage to groups of enemies. Offensive primaries and defensive secondaries. They are the reverse of tanks. Devastator. Devastators launch powerful ranged attacks at enemies while remaining out of range of enemy retribution. Devastators have offensive primaries and support secondaries. They do the highest damage and have moderately effective buffs designed them to give the ability to survive short but very intense fights. Support. Support characters. I love that it's green. Support characters are varied. They heal and buff from a distance. Uh, they have supports, primaries, and offensive secondaries. Um, moderate damage, but mostly they keep their team alive and more powerful. And controllers. This is usually what I play. Controllers specialize in controlling and manipulating those around them through mesmerization, mesmerization stuns, and other mechanisms. Um, <clears throat> let me see here, though. I might want to try doing a Devastator just to see how that is. Okay. And then powers. One primary power set and one secondary power. So... Um, ooh, Dark Magic Blast. Interesting. If you choose Dark Magic Blast, people will assume you're a mage with these powers, whether it's true or not. That might be a good thing. So you have possibility of fire, um, lightning, ice, dark magic, military weapons, or psychic. Um, I'm curious about dark magic, but first off, okay. Um, fireballs overheating you can supercharge your power flame blast damage over time so so fire does damage over time 
Lightning. Uh, damages and debuffs defense. Let's see here. Debuff to regen on a character. Um, oh, and eventually you'll be able to get these others. Okay. Ice uh, does damage and debuffs energy regen. An ice glacier. Ooh. A mini glacier forms and hits all targets in range. Ooh, okay. Dark magic. Um, a ray of darkness hits a single target. You can temporarily increase your own defense. Blast of darkness hits every enemy in the area, knocking the target backwards while also doing damage and a temporary accuracy debuff. So it looks like dark magic does accuracy debuffs. Military weapons. Yep. You pull out a rifle and fire it. Uh, grenade is damage, oh, damage and damage over time. Uh, significant damage and explosive charge. So it looks like the weapons don't do... The weapons don't currently seem to affect um, an, a, a, a status effect. And then Psychic. Uh, Mind Blast. You can increase your defense. Psychically transfer damage and pain to a single target so that it is also stunned. Ooh. Psychic Surgery. Psychically cut the tendons of a single target doing both damage and temporarily immobilizing them. Oof. Um... However, I saw somebody recently with a Dark Magician uh, tattoo, so I'm going to do Dark Magic Blast. Uh, let's see here. So, I think we'll do Darkness Ray. And a Dark Blast. Okay. So, the secondary powers... Are you have an option of restorative nanites. Um, nanites on every ally in the area and activate them, giving everybody a regen buff, adrenal stimulant, active. Okay, so these are these are very much support kind of things. Uh, mystic healing. So it's a healing beam. Which I think you can also cast on yourself. Um, luck manipulation. You can manipulate the target so they hit in just the right spot to do extra damage. So luck is a luck is a power. I kind of like that. Space-time manipulation. So you can quicken people, re reduce the target recharge, reset a target's powers, and stop a single target's powers temporarily. And then psychic manipulation. Hmm, Space-time's cool, but I think we might go with luck just for the fun of it. Um, ooh, fate frowns on all enemies in the target area, temporarily decreasing every enemy's defense. And I think I'll add critical blow. All right. Um, so we always have the body types um, that we, you know, you kind of remember, which is... Um, Athletic masculine, athletic feminine, and then, like, tank masculine. Can we do completely random? Let's see, random body? Okay, so this actually, uh, behind me are the randoms. Um, these, let's see here. Oh, sorry, skin tone is what we want. There we go. Let's see, random head. Oh, it's randomizing. It's randomizing everything, okay. All right, and then random body. Okay, so it's changing the height and a little bit of the build. Um, and you can zoom in on, you can zoom in on things. Um, that last one is just one dude, wow. Uh, Let's see. Um, yeah, the options the options are gonna be what they are. It's, but similar to other randomized things, you can lock. You can lock in place if you like something, so it doesn't get caught up by the random. So if you really like a body style or face, you can chain. You can basically keep that and randomize everything else. So let me lock down the skin tone and the skin color. Um. 
I I'll, I'll admit I'm not expecting great things for the hair options. They they've always been a little bit, you know. Wait, what was that? A second. Do we have like dyed tips or something? Oh, you do. Interesting. Okay. Can I at least get... There we go. These are definitely choices. We will go with... Can we go with none? We'll go with none. Um, oops. Oh, there's beard types. Oh my goodness, not the Dorian mustache. That is too much hair. That's too much. All right. Uh, okay, we can change the beard color or the tips color, but it's all the same. Um, all right, body, you can change, you can change a lot of things. The height, um, which we'll keep at a, oh, it's in, it's actually in centimeters, centimeters and inches. Nice. Um, you can change their idle animation. Oh. So they can actually be, uh, um, Let's do a simple, just simple stand. Uh, their definition. So you don't have to have the carved in everything if you don't want. Uh, abdomen depth. Okay, yeah, you can you can really make those. You can truly make those washboard washboard if you want. Uh, glutes size. Wait, like. You mean. Oh, well, let's give them back. All right. Um, an aura. They added, I saw an update about adding the auras. So let's see here. Are these something that... Okay, yeah. Um, so there are the ability to have... Um, to ha the ability to have, like, kind of... Ooh. Ooh. Though that also looks like maybe I didn't shower. Yes, uh, you will be able to change the color. It looks like the aura has two distinct color options, so you can change both of them. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think of, like, look at ones that are fun but not super distracting. Some of them are very large. Oh, that's interesting. That one, I'm not sure. Or just on fire. That's pretty. That's too much. Oh, leaves. Oh, okay. A little poison ivy action. That just looks like blood falling on me. Maybe not. Okay, where's the sparkly? No, that. Subtle sparkles, okay. Let's see about the aura color. It actually looks a bit like, um, it reminds me of Speedball in the comics. Okay, so the, so red is all the way at the bottom of the scale. Let's do some red and... Okay. Um, you can change the arm size, so you can you can bulk up if you need to. I'm gonna actually slim down a little bit. We don't need all of that. 
can make very large hands if you want. And your shins and thighs and feet. I do have big feet, so I'll do that. Okay. It's a body. Uh, can I change the eyes? I can. Um, no heterochromia looks like. Lots of different styles of eyes. Like we are getting from demonic, cybernetic, fey. I don't see like lizard-like or draconic. Can I get a hazel? There we go. And uh, yeah, you can, um, ooh, yeah, I don't, no, nope, we're good with that. Um, so yeah, I typically, when it comes to very specific parts of the face, because I have a difficulty picturing faces, I typically do not do a whole lot of adjustments with these. I, I tend to take defaults and say that looks good enough. Um, depending, all, I mean, it mostly depends, because in some games you only ever see the back of you, in other games you don't. Um, and the costume. There are, if you, um, there are, if you remember, tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of types of costumes. And they have not shied away from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the random costume. Not bad. Not bad. Those look like he's wearing... Oh, those are saddle shoes? I was like, they look like Crocs. That is an Egyptian knight. Oh. Okay, actually. Hold on. Alright. Let's do a random color. Oh, wait. Not mad. Not bad. And, of course, you can have the colors linked, or you can change them. Um, let's see here. We'll do primary. I can't tell if it's actually changing or not. Um, you also have the RGB if you really want to, if you really want to change things. Okay, so let's just... I had this problem before. The colors weren't quite um, the colors weren't quite changing when I needed them to. Oop, take care, Tanya. Have a good one. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, and we can see we don't have any headgear. Upper body is the um, is the admiral coat. No shoulders. Um, and gloves are admiral gloves. So you have a lot of options. Oh, ship security. Interesting. And of course we have a cape. Do we have a cape? Oh, we don't have a cape. Hmm. Well, let's have a look. Uh, no. Maybe. No. 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 Nope. Nope. Wait. I. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no. Not just fur. Oh. Is that too busy? I don't think so. Okay. Let's go next. All right, so this is our Devastator. We've given them dark magic and luck powers. Um, 
Oh, goodness. I'm just going to call them Yami because I don't have any other inspiration. And you can give them a catchphrase. Uh, you can give them a character description. Things that we do remember. We remember from the from the olden days, um, giving them a catchphrase and a description. Because other when other people look at your character, they can get the character info and see that, and it's nice. Oh goodness, a super group affiliation. Super groups. Ah. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we enter the world. Would you like to name and create this character? Yes. Create the character. Okay. And we're here. Welcome to Ship of Heroes. The year is 2487. You are a new hero recently... Gra oh, you know what? I'm going to leave you here to read this because I should take a break because it is that time. So hang out here. I'll be back in about... Let's see, what are we at? 10 o'clock? I'll be back in about a minute and a half, two minutes. Um, and then we'll read through and we'll run around to the city a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in just a sec. Hey, good morning, Rogan. We are taking a look at Ship of Heroes. And I am out of coffee, so bleh. Um, so, Ship of Heroes. The year is 2487. You are a new hero recently graduated from the Academy, arriving at Apotheosis City aboard the Free Human Ship Justice. Explore the city and enjoy the view, or speak to Ambassador on the steps of City Hall to begin your adventure. One mission arc is open for you, the rest of the game is not accessible at this time. After accepting the mission, find the mission location by following the yellow 3D marker, using the compass, or pressing M for an expanded map and hovering over the icons. Uh, let's see here. There is a quick guide online um, at shipofheroes.com slash welcome. And... Um, Okay, if, oh, if you crash and get a message containing VT, just log back in. Okay, and I, they did give me a stuck command as well. Um, okay, so. Oh, it's Ms. Fireball, nice. You have discovered City Hall. Okay, I can see the FPS. Let's see, can I... Uh, auto configure... Full screen. And sounds... Sounds good. Okay. All right, so we've got the WASD and then the Q and the E turn. Um, we have a jump. I believe we also down here at the bottom have our powers. Um, we can teleport to a safe location. A teleport has been offered. Accept it? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, that's got a cooldown. Uh, can we fly? Oh! <gasps> Oh, we can fly. Well, that's it. Never coming down now. Except we can't fly off the ship. Okay. It looks like everybody gets the movement powers for now. Ooh, what's that? How do I get down? Oh, I'm in the wrong window. I was like, there was somebody who posted a meme and said, you know, uh, Z. Um, World of Warcraft characters, um, you know, like they can bond over typing www to each other when they're trying to walk and talk at the same time.
2% off at the Magical Bazaar located near the Mages Guild. Ooh, okay, what's this? <gasps> Ooh, Auction House. Sorry, I, I keep I keep clicking out of the window, so my one the one reason I like being able to use a uh, controller for things is that you stay in the window. Um, we also have access to super speed. Where's my Oh, that's what this is the problem is I'm losing my mouse cursor a little bit. Super speed. Woo! Oh, gotta go fast. I got lost. Uh, where was City Hall? That's not City Hall. It's my first day as a new hero and I'm already lost. Okay, there's City Hall. Um, I don't see a way to limit the FPS, so I can definitely see the FPS in the upper left. Let me turn off super speed. Okay. All right, Ambassador. Target you. And I think F to Normally interact. I tell you about all the problems heroes like us are working to solve, but today I want you to visit my friend Iris the Great. She's having trouble dealing with the political schemes of some evil mages, and she needs your help. Good luck. All right, so let's go see Iris the Great, who is having trouble dealing with some evil mages. Speak to Iris the Great at the Mage Library. And we actually have, my favorite, we have a little indicator. Well, why don't we fly over there? Because we can. It definitely has nostalgia feels. Oh, hold on. I want to see what that archway is. I mean, it's probably just an archway, but still. Yep, just an arch. Turn on, hold on a second. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. So nine to turn off fly. Um, let me head to the, let me head to their website because they also have some information on, okay, movement keys, targeting, you click on enemy or tab, um, powers, I think you can, Okay, yeah, I get power. There we go. Okay, there's our powers. Um, so we have some universal powers. Ooh, we have, a, we have an option for a torch. Uh, plasma shot. Everybody who is on the ship is given um, a plasma weapon. <clears throat> uh, teleport to your team's leader. Nice. This allows the leader to summon all the members to them. It cannot be used in combat. That's very handy. Okay. Let's head on in. I think for me also being able to see the see the numbers on the power bar helps me a lot. Okay, I feel like my character I feel like I gave my character a little bit of a lean over. Let's go talk to Iris. Sorry, Iris the Great. I can't get over there. Your furniture's in the way, Iris. What can I do for you? 
Story missions. Welcome to our great library. What do you need? I'm looking for work. You came at the right time. Honest mages make a lot of money selling valuable magic items. But the Red Sigil have just opened a black market selling illegal and highly dangerous ones. I'd like you to shut down the black market and confiscate any dangerous items you find. Bring them directly back to me. The Red Sigil? A cabal of selfish, elitist mages. Oh. They want to replace me as Archmage. Take over the ship in a quiet coup and install a mageocracy. Many seem to think that superheroes will accept them as a natural ruling class. They would lose that fight, of course, but with terrible casualties on all sides. A mageocracy? That's awful. You came at the right time. Okay. Honest, the Red Tell me. Sigil are usually quite hard to catch, but lately they've been getting bolder. Not only are they tempting other mages to join the Red Sigil, a lot of what they're selling is going to other evil groups on planets we visit. I see. You came at the right time. Look for anything that glows with a purple aura. Got it. You came at the right time. Thank yep. you. They are located in a nearby office building. So they just happen to be nearby? The Red Sigil. The people who wanted to pose you. Did they just rent office space like down the street from your headquarters? Because that's ballsy. I'll tell you right now. Um, I like the interior. Ooh, waterfall. A little cute. Mystic circle. Sadly, uh, Gale's arm is not about to come out of this wall. I'm not sure. Like, we're on a spaceship, so the globe seems odd. Must be mystic. Can we get in here? No. Can we go? Oh, what's down here? Oh, crap. Uh, what? <laughs> Magic takes work. Um... Are we not supposed to be here? Whoa! I'm never leaving. So very likely later on in the game, you'll probably have to come into the rest of the Mage Guild and do stuff, but this is amazing. Hold on, can we fly? <laughs> okay, that's cool. Uh, this is not what we came in here to do, though. So let me just... Oh, wait. Can we can we zoom in? Book. Interesting stories about the love. And book. Oh, wait. A book that tells you no tales. No tales, no stories, no poems. It doesn't make any sense at all. I can't quite get the right lighting on that one. Um, oh yeah, do they are they uppy downy friends? Hold on. Let's just turn off our fly. Oh, they are, I think. Oh, they they are not. <laughs> I, I thought they were. Oh, I love massive card catalog. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. If you can stand in it. Thankfully, there's no fall damage yet. Um, I love catalog card catalogs. Okay, there's a potion vendor. However, right now, we gotta go enter the black market. I gotta stop playing around in here. Oh. 
I'll see, I'll see my way out. Oops. No, I don't want to go there. I want to. I don't want to go to Iris. I want to go to the black market. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It is the like the muscle memory of remembering like how did I do this with mouse and keyboard because I've done I went back to the homecoming server for City of Heroes and I could not remember how to do anything like I gotten so used to new MMOs um, especially ones that like for instance um, they would say the the command when you moused over it um, that would help as well how do I run. Well, we're only going a few feet over. Uh, the mini map is 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 kind of helpful because it's got the big arrow on it. It's got a big, it's got a nice green arrow for us, and it's got a um, an arrow there. I don't know. Okay, there's a power trainer here. There's the entrance, and that's us. There's just people hanging out. Y'all just doing your thing. All wearing the same outfit. It's cool. It's fine. All right, black market. Don't shoot. We're not paid enough to fight heroes. We're only supposed to stop customers from stealing the goods. Go right on up. Okay. Uh, for a black market, you are very well um, equipped here. Okay, so you're not going to stop me because you're not <laughs> you're not paid enough to stop me. Got it. Okay, enter the black market done so we have to um, secure illegal goods and defeat red sigil members we know that the goods that we're supposed to get glow purple so let's see if we can find anything oh there's one do we just do we click on it? No, hold on. How do I get it? <laughs> ah. Okay, right click on it, and we have swiped some magical contraband. Okay, there's an acolyte over there. So we do have to kill. Uh, we have to kill. Sorry, defeat. Uh, three acolytes, seven initiates, one overseer, one master, one infusion seller, and one incense seller. So let's open up with a plasma shot. Out of range. Get into range, buddy. And then a darkness ray. Then a dark blast. Oh, I called everybody over here. Whoopsie. I really just rolled up in here and started causing all kinds of trouble. <clears throat> Um, oops. But of course, oh, see, there's an overseer. An overseer is a tough one. So obviously we should go for it. <laughs> Suck it, overseer. You didn't drop any loot, though. That's rude. Oh, 
Ooh, what's this? It's glowing. I want it. Ooh, we gained 17 dust and a healing pack. Uh, oop, this is a magical contraband. I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. A yoink. <laughs> All right. There you are, You're a student. You're fine. You're probably working your way through evil college. It's okay. All right. We found a rune of dissolving. Yeah, there's a lot. Who just... Oh, hell no. Somebody else shooting at me? No, you are. Get over here. That's it. Suck on my darkness, Ray. Um, okay, so we've defeated an overseer and a master. Uh, we need to find an initiate. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Hold still. <laughs> no, wait, I'm a hero. I'm, I'm the good person here. Okay, let's find some more contraband. I think you're contraband. Yeah. Uh, you're an acolyte, so... I like the range on my ray. I mean, I forgot that I'm like a devastator, a blaster style, so... I am just like... I'm taking out everything in my path. Oop, are you contraband? And are you like a... This is like the bucket that we used to get served drinks out of in marching band. Oh, so so it is. 28 dust, which I'm guessing is currency. All right, there's another acolyte. I'm sorry, pal, it's not your day. How much distance? I have a lot of distance on this darkness ray attack. And it's channeled. Um, No, it's not channeled. It's just a hit, but it's a it's a heavy hit. Okay. I'm sorry, pal. It is not your day. Oop. Come here, magical stuff. Your illegal goods. And you're just some dude on a break hanging out in the black market. Nothing sinister about that at all. So the backgrounds, of the, like the assets they're using, the backgrounds are nice. It does give it a definite, it, it gives it a definite, like, okay, yeah, you're in a magical, magical black market. Um, seeing different enemy types. And everything the smoke reaches will be lethal to touch for months. Don't breathe it in, obviously. Good. At that price, I can afford, what was that noise? That was me coming to defeat you. All right, well, I took out the incense cellar. Um, I need to defeat a few more initiates, but I also need to pick up a lot more illegal magical stuff. Well, it's optional, but I always do optional uh, optional objectives. Okay, so we earned a badge. Contraband sniffer? I don't like that badge. I don't, I don't think I want that badge, actually. What? I, I, don't, I don't want that. <laughs> okay, so I need to take out some more initi <laughs> more initiates. I'm sorry, pal. It's not your day. Oh, trap. Nice try. You look like treasure. You are a skelly. Okay. Um, I need one more initiate. Oh, I'm back here. This is where the real treasure is. Uh, 
Ah, there's another trap. Oh, wonder can I fly over the trap? Maybe? Shall I just shall I just fly? Nope, apparently, uh you, apparently I'm facing downward when I fly, so that didn't help. Alright, I need one more um red sigil initiate now that I have left the black market in shambles. Uh, but it does remind me the last time I play superhero MMOs is, you know, you defeat your enemies. Quote unquote defeat. That just looks, there's a lot of glowy effects. Particle effects are through the roof. Um, you quote unquote defeat your enemies. So they just kind of vanish. Um, when they're done, you assume like, oh yeah, they got teleported to prison is what happened, right? Totally that. That's a good question. Let's find out. Um, buying from the vendors. Wait, where'd they go? There's one. Potion vendor. Sorry, infusion vendor. Can I chat with you? I can. Um, so I can buy blade root. Peppy Mint, Dagger Leaf, Blood Wart, or Scale Spores. All of these increase, uh, some restore health, some increase damage output, restores energy, increases critical strike, restores health, which, uh, health energy and increases defense. So yeah, you can actually buy from the, uh, from the vendors. I guess you can probably also sell things to them. I like the healing pack. You can use this item to regenerate 3% health every 3 seconds for 3 minutes. Nice. Okay. I thought there, actually, I thought there was a tea that called itself Peppy Mint and not Pepper, like, Peppa, but I don't know. Oh. Can I let go all of these good boys? You look like, you look like the bestest. You also look like you would murder everything in here, so maybe not. Okay, there is one more. I'm looking on my mini map as well, but it's behind me to see do I see any red dots for enemies, and I don't. I mean, if I were doing any kind of other game, yeah, my first thought is always to release the animals and then let them handle stuff. But mostly just, you know, let them be free. Okay, so I can see, again, on my little GPS mini-map, I can see the vendors. Um, they show up as little, like, uh, needle. Oh, these are vending machines probably as well. Yep. So vending machines. I can get heals, willpower, regen... Um, I like as I get near that automated eye, I, you know what? You're a little bit scary. Actually, I'm going to go. Do they have Reese's? Oh, I would love some Reese's. We're getting near, um, since we're getting near Halloween, the, the stores are putting out all the candy and it's very hard to walk past. Where is this final Red Sigil Initiate? I got one more of you to take out, but where are you? Have I been too efficient? Do you respawn? Are you hiding back here? You are. Okay, so, oh, oh, that's a trap. Well, I'll let you fall into your own trap. <laughs> Badge earned, ding. Okay, so we finished everything. We have completed the mission. Um... You can always leave through the entrance or teleport back. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and exit the mission since we're done. A question in chat. Reese's Pieces or M&M's? I'm probably more of an M&M's person. Um, although I do like the Reese's formulation of peanut butter, but I think I appreciate it more in the Reese's in a Reese's peanut butter cup than the actual like pieces. Uh, did I level up? 
There's a power vendor over here, I think. Let's go see what that's like. And then we'll return to Iris. Yeah, there's a power trainer around here. Ah, are you right here? You are. Okay, so we have available powers for dark magic uh, powers. Night Shroud. Um, ooh, overload your powers with extra darkness. Or a breath of darkness. Hmm. I'm going to overload my powers with extra darkness. Okay, so I trained up. I have a little extra. I have a little extra darkness to me. Um, let's fly back over to Iris. For me, in the Reese's in the Reese's pieces, the amount of chocolate to peanut butter is too small because the sh the, the the coating shell is like the 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 shell's not like quite there for me, so I need a little more chocolate. Now, if they had like a chocolate peanut butter, because I think like M Ms do a chocolate peanut butter one now, because of course they do. But yeah, if there were a little more chocolate, then maybe. Um, all right, let's return to Iris at the Great Library at the Mage Library. We did our thing, we beat up some people. We're good now. What can I do for you? Okay, story missions. How is the mission going? Any problems? The black market is closed. What's next? Excellent. Good job recovering the cursed items as well. Thank you. Now, I've been reviewing ship security reports to look for related groups. Numerous mages have been spotted entering a particular skyscraper and not leaving. They are presumably Red Sigil because they've brought in a region device that's banned in most of the galaxy, including aboard the Justice. What do you want me to do? You'll lead the attack while I coordinate with a few specialists to subvert the device so it will heal you instead of the bad guys. Clear the building and secure the region device. Should I avoid this regen machine? It's illegal to own due to causing dust poisoning in civilians who get too close, but it is fairly safe for heroes to use over short periods. Run up to the device if you want to be healed. Good to know. You'll lead the attack while... Thank All right. you. That sounds fun. All right. So eliminate the red sigil guard and secure the device. All right. So we'll have a look at that next one, but it's about time for me to wind it down. I can see some T-poses right before I enter the room. It makes me laugh. <laughs>